I just wanted to record a quick video to showcase one of the cool ways that you can leverage Miro AI as you are synthesizing and prioritizing insights. Uh, so how do you move from something like this? So some raw interview transcripts uh, from customer interviews you've conducted into uh, something that looks a bit more like this. So a structured table format with a prioritized list of insights. If you're familiar with the jobs to be done outcome driven innovation process, this might look uh, familiar. Uh, this is something we talked about last week with Colin. Uh, Colin's the CEO of Mosaic Innovation and the author of an excellent guide on jobs to be done theory. Uh, we have turned this into a, um, a Miro template as well that you can use uh, with your teams uh, to go through the process. It's particularly useful for product teams in the discovery phase of a project. So deciding what to prioritize and what to build. Uh, there's a key moment uh, between phases three and four that we go through in the workshop uh, where there's a good opportunity to leverage uh, Miro AI in this way. So uh, at stage three, uh, we are, it's recommended that we speak to eight to 12 of our customers to gather insights on uh, their experience and identify opportunities for innovation. So areas that are kind of underserved, they're causing frustration to the customer, and uh, but they are of high importance. Uh, and the framework prescribes a particular way of articulating these uh, outcome statements or articulating these insights, sorry, as outcome statements. Uh, and the goal here is to capture what your customers are trying to achieve, what they're trying to progress uh, towards in a way that is specific, measurable uh, and solution agnostic. We're not thinking about solutions here, but the goal is to arrive at a list of prioritized outcome statements uh, the prioritized ones we would then take through into an ideation brainstorming session with the team and try and come up with solutions. But the goal here is to really identify the areas that we should be focused in on. And um, so it has a specific uh, articulation, which includes direction of improvement. Uh, so minimize or maximize a metric so we can measure that progress an object of control and a contextual clarifier. So in the webinar, we were focused on the experience of facilitating um, online workshops and how could we innovate around that, obviously related to Miro. Uh, but one of the um, outcome statements we arrived at going through this process was minimize time required to transform sticky notes into shareable format. So that kind of moment of frustration for a facilitator after a workshop where they have all this great uh, messy uh, creative work captured during the workshop, they have to now translate that into a more structured shareable format, say to present to stakeholders. So there could be an opportunity to improve that experience. And, and this framework uh, helped us arrive at this. So the question is, how do we go from those transcripts from speaking to eight to 12 of our customers into that table of outcome statements that we can then prioritize. Uh, well, this is something that the Mirror AI can help with. Uh, so I've written a prompt here um, asking uh, the Mirror AI to convert these interview transcripts into insights articulated in the form of an outcome statement in Jobs to be Done Theory. So in that particular way, with direction of improvement, metric, object of control, and then contextual clarifiers. Uh, and I've also asked it to add a couple of other columns that can help us uh, when it comes to the prioritization. So I'm going to copy these. I'll come out of present mode. And when you're using the Mirror AI, um, the canvas is basically the prompt. So you can select what the context is uh, for the AI. So in this case, I'm selecting the interviews. And then you come with to create with AI, and then you have to select the output format. So you have loads to choose from, diagram, doc, image, prototype. Uh, we're interested in table. So I'm going to paste in the prompt here. And then I am yeah, going to uh, have a little uh, wait as it's reading through um, the results, it's reading through the transcripts, uh, and it's going to uh, work through to capture the insights and articulate them in the way that we've asked. So I'll pull this up here for a second. Uh, so you can see that it has uh, done a good job of listing, articulating these outcome statements and listing them here. Uh, it's added a box for importance, frustration, uh, and priority here. Once it's in this um, halo, you can go back and uh, make edits as well. Um, but we're going to add it to the canvas. 
And here we can uh, move things around. In the webinar, uh, we talk through the way that you can run a survey or run extra uh, qualitative interviews with your customers to help you prioritize these outcome statements in terms of importance and frustration. So we want to do that, uh, but we're a visual platform. So you can also pull out some of these outcome statements from uh, the table itself. They'll remain synced uh, and then you can add them onto a framework uh, like this, or sorry, a, a matrix uh, to visualize um, where you want to focus. So which of the outcome statements are of high importance to your customer, but also are causing uh, frustration. And you can focus in on these areas as you move through to ideation, coming up with solutions um, for things that you want to build and put onto your roadmap.